Hey guys, welcome back. Here we go again. Yeah, I want to talk about Mary J. Blige. <clears throat> it's terrible. Like, we are starting to see our lifestyle results. It's actually more damaging to women than actually it is to men. Because you, once you start looking at all these older women, music artists, like literally most of them are single, such as Mary J. Blige. What else we got? Uh, Janet Jackson. I always talk about Janet Jackson. Who else we got? We got Cher, Lil' Kim. I mean, all of these women are either in their 50s or up. And the real problem is a lot of these artists are living their actual life that they're singing about. Meaning they're not good people. They're not good women. Because at the end of the day, men want good women. Women that's going to submit to them. Women that's going to be a, a, a good wife and a good mother to the children. Like, literally. Um, I know this woman has been married once. And she's just always been chasing F-boys. Like, it's never going to end. Like, I feel for her. But... Let's look at what she's been doing. Let's look at who she's been dating. Well, on the books, what we got? It says she's been with eight different guys. Yeah. But, uh, we got Sean, well, basically Puff Daddy. Let me see, Danny Boy, don't know who that is. Grand Pooba, Casey Helly. Tupac Shakur, like this woman has been chasing a certain type of guy. We got Nas on here. Like I say, these kind of women that are uh, the chaser of high status men usually wind up alone by themselves. Which, that makes sense. Because men realize you go from man to man to man. You're not really looking for anything. You're just looking for the fun guy. It's almost like women don't realize. It, it doesn't matter. You could be a musician and be successful in relationships also. Because all you got to do is look at Jay-Z and Beyonce. Beyonce truly wanted the guy that was going to take her serious. But I'm quite sure she broke everything down to Jay-Z. How she wanted things to do. Like she didn't want to play no games. Because... We think relationships is a game because of all these music artists, rappers, actors. We really think relationships is a game. It's almost like we live in a fantasy world. But then when you're in your 50s, when you have nothing else to offer men, that's when you truly it, it truly sinks in that you wasted your time. Because all that matter, no, none of that stuff matters. If you had all the fun in the world and you're alone. And I'm tired of hearing women say, oh, how you know if I don't want to be alone? No, you don't. You want to be alone. You admit to, you accept being alone now because you don't have anything to offer. You don't have anything a man want. And the men that would accept you, you want nothing to do with. That's what it is. See, women are some of the biggest hypocrites. They'll tell you they're happy, they're alone. Nobody's happy alone. Nobody. It's all a lie. And it, it, I'm tired of hearing it because now, well, all you gotta do is start looking at them. What were they doing when they were considered a high status woman like everybody wanted her? She was being with everybody. She was running the streets with everybody. Like, literally. Mary J. Bars done been around the town. It says eight on the books, but let's be honest. A woman like this, I'd multiply that by 10. I say a good 80 to 100 different men in her life. And I know she was married for a good 15 years. 
So, yeah, I probably knocked that down to maybe 40 because she was married. So that dude mean maybe she wanted to be married. She wanted to have one guy, maybe. But you also got to understand, sometimes you can get with specific American women and they will shut down. They will give you sex allowance. It's all kind of things that goes on. They don't know how to treat men. And in the end, they're usually alone. So all your struggles, all the complaining about different men, and I guarantee you all these men that she's dealt with, well, I know Tupac not with us anymore. I guarantee you most of these men are in relationships. So that tells you something about these women. A lot of these men are married. And <laughs> they'll try to blame it on men. But then you start looking at the men that they were dealing with. Well, all the men you dealt with are married. So who's the common denominator? You. Like, this is terrible though. But marriage of Lodge, it's all over, sweetie. Because recently I've been hearing she getting BBLs. On O'Shea Duke Jackson channel. Yeah, he was saying BBLs and all that. But, uh, yeah, she's running around getting BBLs. I mean, what is the point? Who are you trying to attract? I mean, you're 53. Why would a man even deal with that? <laughs> you couldn't pay me to deal with that when I know I can have a woman in her mid-20s to early 30s for a fact and I'm an average guy so just imagine what these high status men are doing it, it's crazy but yeah anyway like Mary Jo Blige the game is over sweetie like you can get all the body parts and all that there's something special about a woman that's genuinely young genuinely still had an innocence about her. You can never replicate that. Even down to the softness of a younger woman's skin. It's different. It's different when they're young and innocent. And you've wasted your younger years. Now the game is over. That's what happens when you waste your time. You're like a grasshopper. But anyway, the game is over. Like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.